right, car video time. We are at the farm and we at home basically and we're heading out to my favorite place lately. I'll tell you about what where that is in a second. Just gotta get out on the road. It's uh, October 2020, it's uh, autumn, getting colder and uh, gray today. That's okay. That rhymed. It's gray today, but that's okay. Anyway, so I am actually heading to the pool, the swimming pool. Uh, and I've been heading there regularly lately, which you would know if you follow me on Strava, there's a link in the description. I've been doing my training there lately in the form of swimming and aqua jogging. Okay, aqua jogging is when you have a flotation belt on. I have it here actually. And you float and then you, you, you do the, the running motion basically while floating uh, across the pool. So it's a great way to cross train for runners. So the question of course then is, why am I cross training? Well, I am injured. I have been for a little while now and I have to take some time off running. The short story is basically, uh, you know, I, I know what I did wrong. I, I look back at my training log. That's one of the benefits of having a training log, by the way. Uh, I look back at my training log at Str in Strava and I can see exactly what I did that led to this injury. Um, I, you know, I had a break over the winter and starting to come back uh, this spring, it was, uh, I was struggling with some Achilles tendon issues. And, um, but you know, they were persistent, but I was able to still run a fair bit. Slow, uh, I did a little bit too much too soon, I guess, which was what caused the Achilles issues. Anyway, eventually the Achilles issues went away and I succumbed to the classic um, over-eager syndrome, <laughs> where I was so ready to get into real training after having to hold back due to the Achilles issues, that I was just too eager to train and I pushed a little bit too hard uh, over a few weeks uh, back in June, July, July really. Um, so basically, I, and, uh, in addition to just pushing a little bit too hard overall, I did two hard workouts with just one day of rest in between and I, I was not ready for that level of uh, of uh, workouts or the intensity. I even did ran the workout a little bit too fast, actually. Let's see here, it's a very difficult uh, intersection. I'm just gonna concentrate. Gotta fill up the tank too. Person crossing the street. Anyway, so I struggled uh, with getting back. I did those two hard workouts uh, with one day in between. It was too much. And on the second workout, I had to abort actually. It was a track work. I had to abort it due to pain in my left shin. On the side, in the, sorry, in the fibula uh, region, the bone. Anyway, so the that pain did not go away and still has not gone away. And it's been like three months now. It's very persistent. It's not super painful, but it is persistent. And so it's it's just, uh, it's very annoying. Uh, and it, it sort of feels like, and looks like it's probably a bone issue, uh, which means that, you know, there's only one way really to heal bone, and that is to back way off your training. And if it's really bad, if it's an actual stress fracture, uh, you got to back all the way off and do nothing for a while. So I've backed off training. I haven't run for three weeks. I've been cycling and aqua jogging and swimming though. Um, I did an x-ray, it, it came back negative, nothing there, but x-rays are not really great at showing uh, stress reactions in the bone or, or stress fractures. So I'm getting an MRI, my physiotherapist is uh, sending me to get an MR MRI uh, in a couple of weeks. Uh, so I'll be doing that and hopefully that'll give me some more answers and that'll help me, you know, decide how I'm gonna approach my training over the next few few weeks because if it is a stress fracture then I just need to back, 
you know, I just need to know that, okay, well, this is gonna take six, eight, 12 weeks, you know, to get back to real training. Uh, and if it's not a stress fracture and there's something else going on, then well, then we can try and figure out what that is and maybe I'm able to train through it. But I don't wanna take the chance of, of running through it. I did for a while and it just didn't go away and it's still there. So I don't wanna take any chances. I've heard about people having stress fractures for a long time and never allowing it fully to heal and then getting into some serious issues eventually. So that being said, I am actually enjoying the pool a lot. Um, I am, I'm enjoying it, it's, it's fun. I am trying a new sport, which is swimming. I've been working hard at my swimming technique. I've been reading, I've been watching videos. I'm not a good swimmer, uh, or maybe I am. I'm just never, I've just never practiced. I feel like I've made huge improvements over the, over the last couple of weeks of, of swimming. Um, my main thing is just the, the, the breathing, you know, getting that uh, under control doing the freestyle crawl you know and breathing under up on the side and 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 it's just so technical so many little details that you got to take uh, keep an eye on when you're swimming and it's just a strange medium you know strange place to be in the water to to just be under the water with your face and breathing out in the water it's just very very um, not uh, i'm not used to it so but that's cool because that means I'm, I'm improving quickly and I'm learning new things and it's always fun to progress and I'm realizing more and more that you know it's not really about the results of your of whatever endeavor you're doing and so my running it's not really about the results it's about the grind you know it's about the daily process of applying yourself to try and reach your goals and right now my goal is to heal and, in, and, and, I, and a sub goal is to become better at swimming, right? And that kind of makes it, you know, reasonable to think that maybe in the future I'll try, uh, try to do a triathlon. Like I've always been fascinated by the Ironman, uh, you know, who hasn't? Uh, it's an awesome endurance event. And now that I'm starting to get a hang of swimming, maybe one day I'll do a triathlon, maybe, who knows? I'm still a big fan of running though, mostly. Running is closest to my heart for sure. But uh, yeah, it's fun. And it's also fun to do the aqua jogging, I have to say. I've only done it twice though, and I'm doing it for the third time today. Um, I, I guess it's not really that fun, but it is, for me, it's fun to be in the pool. I just, I just enjoy that environment um, and it's fun. So that's a little bit of an update. We don't have to make this video drag on for too long. My, my life, I mean, I'm, I'm disappointed with the, with the injury, for sure. Uh, running is like the biggest, most important part of my life. So it's very frustrating for me to have this injury and to be in this situation. But uh, it's very common for runners to be in this situation. And also, I'm learning a lot about myself and my training. And, you know, I've, I've done some huge changes to how I coach myself, because I'm self-coach, of course. And that has its downsides, you know, doing stupid things like having two hard workouts with just one day in between of rest uh, after just just getting back to running. Really, it's it's just it was a stupid mistake, and uh, so I've, I've started, you know, taking my se uh, coaching more seriously, the coaching of myself. Uh, of course, I'm also coaching other athletes, uh, and with those, I'm I'm definitely I would never make the mistakes that I make with myself with them. That's the kind of ironic thing or the stupid thing is that it's very typical for coaches uh, and people athletes that are self-coached to be very careful and uh, accurate with their coaching clients like I am but to when it comes to myself you know I'll be like ah, I can handle it I can do it I because you're too obsessed about the results I'm too obsessed about I need to do this workout because I need to get back on track and there's too much ego and too much uh, emotions uh, involved right so in order to, do, to deal with that I've, I've started now having a, a good routine where I sit down once a week for or twice a week sometimes for an hour or two and actually write a report uh, where I'm sort of talking about myself almost in third person and I'm, I'm sort of analyzing my mistakes and write, I write down what I can do to get better and I write down some rules, you know, I'll never again do this kind of mistake and this kind of mistake and I'm, I'm trying to sort of get very objective about my own coaching. 
Uh, and if you're interested in coaching from me, of course, I offer customized training plans and coaching subscriptions. Uh, you can check those out at my website. There's a link in the description. Um, and so go ahead and check that out. Yeah, as I said, I'm disappointed, but I'm also very happy at the moment uh, just uh, pursuing this new sport and seeing the change of the season and a lot of things going on in my life right now, which are some of them challenging, some of them uh, uh, awesome as, you know, a good mix of both, which is usually the case, right? Autumn is coming on strong. It's really, really beautiful right now. I, I guess you can see some of it out the window there, right? You don't get the best view because of the lighting, but it's a, there's a lot of yellow, quite a lot of orange, some red. Uh, it's really, really beautiful now. I wish I could be out running, you know, in this perfect autumn weather. Autumn is like perfect season for running, except for when it rains. Um, but I'm going to the pool and I actually enjoy the smell of chlorine because I just, I associate it with the, uh, with uh, fun, I guess, from my childhood, just going to pools and being in hotels and in the swimming pools. Just, it's a good association for me, so I, I like it. Yes, is there anything else to say? Anything, any other updates? I don't think so. I appreciate you watching this video. If you made it this far, definitely leave a comment. I would love to hear from you what you think. Have you tried aqua jogging? Are you a swimmer? Do you have any swimming tips for me as a beginner? Um, just uh, leave a comment, please. Uh, I would love to hear from you. And check out my website for the, for the coaching details. Wishing you all, I'm, I'm at the pool now actually. It's just around the corner here, so it's a pretty short, short drive. Um, thanks for watching. Have an awesome day. Please subscribe, of course, if you haven't done so already. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.